Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, gorgeous friend, it's me, Robin. Robin Hallett, intuitive healer and light sparkler at robinhallett.com. This is Morning Magic. Hello, this is our time to come together and share in the heart sparkles of love, remembrance, healing, possibility, energy lifting, all of that, remembering who we truly are, practicing together. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Morning Magic. Hello, hello, gorgeous friends. I hope the day has been kind to you so far and that you're doing wonderfully well. Good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful day here in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? <laughs> Could you be mine? It's a beautiful day in this beauty wood. A beautiful day for a beauty. Would you be mine? <laughs> Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. <laughs> I've always wanted to live in the neighborhood with you so let's make the most of this beautiful day since we're together we might as well say are you singing would you be mine could you be mine won't you be my neighbor won't you please won't you please please won't you be my neighbor hi neighbor <laughs> welcome to morning magic gorgeous amazing friends Good morning, Allie. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Angie. Good morning, Pax. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you. Good morning, Jeffy. Good morning. Hi, Paula. Hello, neighbor. Hello, beautiful neighbors. Hi, Michelle. Good morning. Good morning. So friends, welcome. Hi, Elizabeth. Number one kiddo. Awesome. Hello. Hi, Heather. Good morning. Good morning, Laura. It's a beautiful day, friends. It's a beautiful day. I'm sending so much love from my heart to yours now. And um, we're going to do good things today. I think we should cheers first. What do you say? Hi, Melanie. <laughs> Hello, neighbors. Hello, neighbors. Hi, Mary. Yeah, I love you guys. I love you. Tender morning here. Tender morning. Anybody else feeling tender? I'm feeling some tenderness. Um, tearful tenderness, I mean. Yeah, but it is a new day, as Carrie just, I just added that into your text, Carrie. Happy new day. She didn't write that, but I'm, that's what I read just there. Hello. Hi, Roshni. Hi, Allie. So, um, if it's a tender day or a happy day or an amazing day or a sad day or a nothing day or just another day, whatever day it is, I vote we cheers. I vote we cheers to you and to me and to us and the world and to evolution and healing and amen. Cheers. Mm. So, did you guys hug yourself today? I am wondering if you hugged yourself, if you loved yourself, if you practiced and yeah, amen. A few of us um, have been practicing hugging, haven't we? And we can feel a difference in the morning. So um, you could even try, number one kiddo, could even try a virtual hug between friends. You can say, let's send a virtual hug. Let's hug right now. And what it looks like is I hug myself and I practice that you are the one in my arms. And over there, you hug yourself and you practice that I am the one in your arms. And if that's weird, because, you know, weird, got to go with what works for you, <laughs> then you can take one like this and send it on its way. 
you got a heartbeat with every heartbeat it's making its way out you can do that so good morning <laughs> virtual hugs hug 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 good I'm so glad you're hugging yourself right now Roshni that's great hug 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 and an extra long one to carry that's so good so beloveds did you pick a word of the day today I wonder did you it's not weird it's just yay good yeah I um asked a friend this morning to hug with me took a little risk it's risky because you know I mean I think I've outed myself as a weirdo by now here everywhere <laughs> there's really no hiding it but there's still a story that um, I may appear normal and not strange you know what I'm saying do you have that <laughs> I think it's possible I still seem normal don't want to overstep the weirdness vibe but um, I said can we virtually hug good you listening number one kiddo um, let's practice you know so we we sent each other a hug and I tell you what I felt it totally I could feel it going up in my um, esophagus <laughs> and then my left nostril started to open which is so weird but you know energy you're an energy being you're an energetic being. You think you're just a body, but you're an energetic being. That's good. Everyone is someone else's weirdo. Your husband is right, Angie. Yeah. So, yeah. So we sent hugs and I could feel it and it really helped. So don't forget, just because we're on a lockdown still, we're still on a lockdown here anyway. Um, you know, you can send virtual hugs. So let's see what your words of the day are, you guys. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Mary's word is peace. Word of the day is relax. For Roshni, I've been having, Kelly says, having a hard time choosing a word this past week. So I am going to just calm my mind a bit. Yeah. That's the word. That's the vibe. You know, I'm, Kelly, how about a vibe for today? A vibration for today? A um, frequency to tune the dial to today? What Does that change anything? But I love that. I'm not trying to change how it's feeling for you. I love it. Word of the day is wonder. Hi, Stuart. Gratitude for Allie. That should go on a t-shirt, Angie, Jeff says, for your husband. Hello, Aggie. Aggie, let us know how you've been doing with the storms. It was pretty bizarre here, and we weren't even in any pathway, I don't think. Um, <laughs> words are esophagus and hug for Amy. Yeah, good. For Elizabeth, forward, yes. Melanie, remember. I like how you spelled that. I am curious if you want to share for the whole class how that is for you. But, you know, no, nobody ever has to reveal things here. Allie, ease. Carrie says, my word is rest. Yeah. I posted something sweet today uh, with my peonies that were all bowing after the storm, bowing into, and I realize they're bowing into the grass and that's exactly what I wanna do. I just wanna lay on the grass and let myself be supported. Let myself be supported and let myself feel my, this being that is otherwise known as Robin, be just here for me, you guys. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. I'm not just a vessel. I'm not just a helper. I love this. Um, but if I'm not careful, I'll be in this mode 24-7 and not even think of myself. Not even eat nothing. <laughs> so, ah, I took some time in the garden. And um, that's the word, bow, for me today. Bow. The peonies are bowing. I'm bowing. And I'm allowing myself to be supported, resting, you know, still blooming. Kendra says her word is optimistic. Yay. Hi, other number one kiddo. Hi, honey. Um, 
you know, it's like, just, you're still blooming, but there might be room if you decide to let go and give up what you're freaking hanging on to and feeling so about, anybody feeling right now, um, giving some of that up, surrendering some of that, just giving it up means there's room to bloom, there's room to receive, there's room for your beauty, there's room for more. So nice. So carry your word is rest. Perfecto. Kelly, you like it? You will do that? Excellent deal. I love it. The real words are fun haver. Oh, I love that. I love that. I live forward. That's good, Angie. That's really nice. Paula says, I keep doing this thing where I open the comment there. Um, Paula says, solar plexus chakra for intuitive action. Yeah. Liz, did you pick a word? Did I miss it? I see Kendra's word. Wait, maybe I'm coming. Here I go. I'm seeing you in the grass. Beautiful. Thank you, Mary. You know, did I tell you yesterday your mom wrote me and said, I listened to you on the live and I am honored to be your spirit mama and be part of this beautiful posse. And thank you for speaking about my family so sweetly. It's so nice. I will return the favor. You know, when I'm over, I don't know how old your mom is, but my mom would have been 80 something this year. When I'm at that point, I am going to be a professional grandmother. And I don't mean like for pay. I just mean I am going to be everybody's mama and grandma. I can't wait, but for now, I'm just figuring out how to do that for myself. <laughs> how to receive. I'm, I'm looking for new people. I'm always taking, uh, applying for more grandmas and moms for me. Melanie says, remember as in remember who I am, remember into my body, my essence, be in myself, my whole. That's beautiful. You took my breath away. How do you really truly let it go and not just pretend? Amy, I will come right back to that. Kelly says, vibe today, surrender and onward. See? Wasn't that easy? And it's like, you know, what's exciting about that, Kel, is that um, it's not an intellectual process. We're trying from our mind. Sometimes we're thinking because we, this is who we, we, if you think about it, it's like you exist here. It's wild. Are you freaking, anybody freaking themselves out right now? You think up here is who you are, but actually you're a vibration representing as Robin or Kelly or Amy in this lifetime. Oh yeah, thank you, honey. I read it out loud too, forward. Dork, Robin. Jeffy's word is strong, that's beautiful. I'm free to make mistakes, I'm free to ask and ask again. Forward, Elizabeth, forward. Allie says, I think I'm switching to fun. Hi, Bex. Yes, we, Mary says, we are working on getting her up on Instagram. She is 78 and loves being a grandmother. I adore her. I mean, when she takes the time to send me a card in the mail and her handwriting, it's kind of shaky. I just melt. I just love her. And I mean, she's been writing to me for a long time before I ever really connected with her on that level. I love it. Elizabeth says... I guess we better get cracking on grandkids. You guys, you just take your time. First, we need to figure out, you know, a few other things. Yes. You take your time. You guys go explore the world. That's what I would love. The kids came with us to uh, Italy this winter. We had one week together. It was so amazing. So amazing. We had such a good time. I vote we have more... Okay, what's happening with my bangs today? There. There. Okay. There we go. I vote we have more times like that. No hurry. When I was in my 30s, I felt so much pressure to have a baby. Holy crap. But, you know, 
this was a good exercise to go inside my heart. It just, the impulse was never really real. I felt pressure, but um, the impulse wasn't real. And I even remember, Kendra, when you were, <laughs> Kendra, when you were probably eight, you were like, please, can we have a baby? And I was like, I just, it was honest. I just don't want to. I have so much fun with you guys. It's good. Why? It's so, it's so nice now. Let's appreciate it. So cute though. So I think that's why we got another dog or something. Another, we had three dogs at some point. All right. Would I get on with the message today? Um, Amy asked, how do you really, really let it go? How do you really let it go? You're carrying some stuff right now, right? Stuff's, I have my homemade Kleenex. Thank you. Uh, stuff's, this is a time, I keep saying it, I know, um, but this is that time, there's so much happening in the world, um, I speak a lot about this in this week's episode, Huddle Up and Black Lives Matter, you know, all of it, so, um, what, what's coming up today, though, is how does it activate the personal energies in your own body? The body carries trauma, the body carries energy, the body carries, um, we call it dead ergon energy in healing, which is like a dumb term. It's just, let's say, old icky goo. And it keeps reactivating. We're watching stuff now. It keeps reactivating and it needs to go. It needs to go. It's not for you to keep carrying. So. When things feel super intense, or if you have a, you've, maybe you've seen this in a friend where like their reaction, I once went to the movies with a friend. I forget, it might have been, um, it was a sweet, the Farnsworth story. It was the story about the guy with the tractor who goes to drive his tractor to his brothers. The Farnsworth story, it was sweet. But we came out of there, she could not stop crying and it was turning into a really big thing. Like at the AMC 30, she was standing at the sink and she couldn't get it together. And she didn't know that's what was happening. What was already here on her insides was being lit up by what she was witnessing on the outsides, you know? Um, so the reaction is way over the top. And you're like, Get it together. You're talking to yourself, not very nicely. Get it together. I think it's pretty rare that somebody's like, wow, to, to yourself. You are really having a hard time. I mean, we, we learned to do that over the years. A lot of us know to do this now, but we're still remembering that. It's, it's not after, it's for a few hours we're in the other place, really freaked out, really upset. You know what I'm saying? And then we remember, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. This lights up old stuff. This lights up um, current current events light up. It's not really what I would call transference because we are very, very impacted and upset and caring very much about what's happening today too, you know? So this stuff lights up and you, you know, it's nothing more than knowing that and inhaling and exhaling um, telling yourself it's time to go. I don't need to carry this. Sometimes the intellect can help let these things go because you can kind of reason it out. Like, um, one example would be if you're really, really mad at somebody, you're really, really mad at somebody for the way they behaved and what they did. There's a lot of anger flying around these days, right? There's a lot of anger in the ethers, there's a lot of anger in the protests, there's a lot of anger in the, um, you know, I'm tired of trying to get you to understand why this matters, why we matter, right? There's a lot of energy and that's probably helping to light up things on your insides where you feel angry. And you, you should know that it's okay if you're not just angry about the movement today. It's okay. You matter. Your feelings matter. What happened to you happened to you. You need to be here for yourself as well. 
That's healthy. That's right. That's balanced. Keep reminding yourself of that. We're going for a certain kind of balance, a certain kind of equality. That's about balance. It's not about one being more special than the other. Um, and we're trying to, we're working to cr create a new centeredness. That's what we've been talking about all around the world now. Not to mention the coronavirus and how can we come into balance with as the world is beginning to figure out how do how do we reopen? How do we handle this? Is there, you know, like balance? So you honor what's there on your insides. If you're feeling mad, if you're feeling hurt, if you're feeling angry, if you're feeling whatever it is, and you want to let some of that go, then first things first, let yourself know that's what's happening. Yes. I feel angry today about what I'm seeing in the world. Or yes, I'm mad about this relationship I've been in. Um, I'm mad about how I've been allowing myself to be treated, that I hung in there so long and I got taken for granted so many times. I got hoodwinked so many times, whatever your story is, you know. I don't feel mad today, but I do have Guilt and fear of my badness gets triggered a lot as I read um, posts on Instagram from friends who are um, speaking to the Black Lives Matter movement, pointing things out, um, empowering one another. <laughs> and um, uh, I, I can feel strongly like I am bad, I am wrong, I have something to apologize for beyond I'm learning more and more and more. I'm saying that too, but also what I'm saying is um, it doesn't matter who's angry or what's going on, I will blame myself first. It'll just, because that's how I grew up. So I feel that and I have to keep exhaling. I have to keep feeling it and exhaling it. I have to keep the sports announcer in my head, the narrator in my head has to say, Robin is feeling responsible for the world. Does this resonate for anyone? Robin feels responsible for everything. It is all, you know, like it is all her fault. If somebody takes exception to what I'm saying, you know how easy it is to misconstrue, to mishear, but also if you hear exactly what I'm saying and you don't like it and you push back, I will feel bad about that. It's something I know. Thank you. I'm glad when it resonates. I will know. I will feel like it's my fault. So when there's pushback, when there's a question, when there's an issue, I will feel that way. Melanie feels responsible for all the things. Yep. And there it is. Yes, Kelly is responsible for the world. It's heavy. It's heavy. And then, you know, I think a little bit like I'm not allowed to talk about my feelings. When I consider the movement, I'm saying the Black Lives Matter, which really matters to me a lot. And I want to learn and I want to change and I want to open more and more and more. I do. And really honest, I feel like I'm not allowed to have any experience right now as a white person, personally speaking. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Um, and I, this morning, Amy sent me a post. I don't remember her name. Um, Amy, but she was talking about really having, she was giving herself permission. She was talking about the commencement address from Toni Morrison, who said, was saying um, at her graduation, listen, you don't have to keep changing your words to fit for an, a white audience or a all audience. She said, you talk to me. And it was beautiful post. She said, I have permission now to just be myself and share exactly how it is for me. I don't have to put it through this filter or that filter or that filter. And 
she said, I'm not talking something like, I'm not here to talk to white people. I'm here to talk to black people. And it gave me permission the other way around. I still feel a little scared saying that. <laughs> Just went <laughs> something. <laughs> so how do you acknowledge it? Amy, how do you release it? How do you sit with it? You just do. You just name it. And you think, you know, at, what is your philosophy, you guys? My philosophy is, at the end of the day, I need to feel proud of who I am, what I did, how I shared, what I said, who I helped, um, remembering who I am, remembering that I'm, I'm light, I'm love, I'm God in a body, and I'm here to help. And I do that. I can honestly answer at the end of the day, I did not intentionally create harm, you know? That's it, you guys. We have to practice. And it's okay if it's intense, you know? It's okay if it's intense. That gave me permission to know that I need to speak to us. It's important. Somebody has to say these things. I never want to be a lemming just going off the cliff because it's the right thing to do. If you hear me talking about it, it's because I've really been sitting with it and it is honest and it's my philosophy and it resonates spiritually. It resonates. It's right. It's coming from oneness and unity. Yeah. <laughs> my stomach just went brrrr. Like, that's the psychic stomach gurgle. Okay, psychic stomach gurgle, no, no, no. Lights flickering, yes. Trucks going by, fine. Random animals appearing, okay. Stomach gurgles, no. No, just don't. Carrie says, uh, I just learned that a succulent I've had for years is called the mother of thousands. And it was an instant reminder of all our conversations here and elsewhere about mothering ourselves. That's gorgeous. Gotta, we gotta do it. We gotta do it, you know? Yeah. Hi, Sue. Stuart says, so we can blame you for everything. I thought it was all my fault. What a relief. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, sure. There you go. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute, Stuart. Real cute. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-mm. No. No. Beautiful. <laughs> no. I like that. The sound bowl. So, love and embrace and accept all of how you're doing. Some of it's ugly. Some of it's scary. Some of it you worry. Like, oh my God. Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing what's right? Don't forget who you are. Don't forget why you're here. Paul Selig, Course in Miracles, the two things I'm always talking about here. You know, who are you? You are, I was out in the garden. I'm just wondering, oh, they're not too dirty today. Okay, good. <laughs> My fingernails. Who are you? As I, as I drop this spiritual nugget, let me first check for dirt under the fingernails. <laughs> who are you? Your spirit in a body, God in a body. What are you doing here? You're waking up to that. I hope, I really hope and pray you are. And I really hope you're getting that more and more. There was never anything you needed to do to claim that status. You just are. It's not about earning your way. It's about opening to that. And that's actually what this whole movement is about. Opening to that. Opening to the awareness. Of God in a body. We are all God in a body. Each of us has a light in us. Each of us has. You know Buddha nature. However you want to look at it. We're all here. And knowing how you serve, Paul says, I know who I am, his guides. I know who I am. I know what I am. 
and I know how I serve. So how do you serve? You serve by being yourself. You serve by being awake. You serve by shining as yourself. So there's no thing about changing. There's no thing about correcting. I mean, yes, there's greater awareness more and more and more. Like I've said, one of the big awakenings is I've always thought I am not a racist, but being anti-racist means, you know, you're aware of the experience. And that's something I haven't really carried or um, explored is the experience, the experience, what it's been like. So opening to that. Why be ashamed of that? I know who I am in truth. I know what I am in truth. And I know how I serve in truth. I know who you are in truth. I know what you are in truth. And I know how you serve in truth. So I'm saying I remember who you are. I remember what you are. What you are is a light, a light in a body, the light of God in a body, expressing yourself as you in this lifetime. Not your ego, not your, you know, not your uh, credit card stats, statistics, not your bank account, not your uh, earthly credentials, none of that. I don't give a rip, actually. I'm not impressed, actually. It stands between us, you know? That stuff is, it blocks the channel for me. And <clears throat> I know how you serve means you're just you, expressing as you. So when you're afraid, when I'm afraid, I'm gonna say it wrong, I'm not saying enough the right way, you're not being you. So step back into your center. That song, my love, it's just a reminder, find your center. Yeah, Amy, yeah. And Melanie says, I remember too, that everything is not gonna get done today Marathon, not sprint. I take a long time to process things and that's okay. Absolutely. Anybody feeling the terror of, I better freaking say something publicly, post something publicly, get my campaign together, whatever it is, you know, take yourself back to a time. For me, it was seventh grade. Jennifer and Christy were the girls. Um, if they said jump, you were like, how freaking high? Just tell me what to do. And that was the year where um, I was just like, no. Mm -mm. It was so obvious to me, watching my friends, terrified. You know, I'd already been there in sixth grade, and it all happened to me anyway. So by seventh grade, I was like, mm-mm. You guys go right ahead. But friends who turn on you on a dime, this is junior high though, high school. But we're still afraid. That trauma is still there. Trauma is still there. So we need to work this out and know where that's really coming from. And that's not authentic. So wait, like Melanie says, it takes me a long time to process things. So if you're just jumping, you, you know, Be authentic for yourself because you matter that much. You matter to me. You matter. Yeah. Sue is saying just how, you know, I was aware from being a child. Spirit came close when I felt alone. I went through a bad time, but awareness has been my cloak. Yeah. Hi, Deb. Yeah, and it's okay if you're overwhelmed, you know? It's an overwhelming time on a hundred gazillion fronts, by the way. 
not just the one, not just the one front, not just for Black Lives Matter. It's COVID-19, it's awakening. It's your, what am I here to do? What ha how have I been out of whack? You know, from the beginning, this has been an invitation to go deeper on your journey. So don't lose perspective. Melanie says, everything in my childhood was an emergency. It highlights that terror. Gotta sweet talk myself out of it. Yes, yeah. And again, just that was such a great point here. Um, checking the time. <laughs> you know, I'll have a healing session in three minutes. <laughs> um, you know, I could change the time, by the way, in case anyone's singing, why don't you change the time? Because all the other appointments are set and I can't keep moving everything back. That's why. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, that's why we need to sit with this and know. How was it for you growing up? What is the feeling? What are the feelings you're carrying? You know what I'm saying? What are you carrying? Because that's what happens. If you're not aware of what you're carrying from way back when, remember the way back machine? From the way back when time, or five years ago, that horrible breakup you had, that divorce you went through that you didn't see coming, that bankruptcy uh, case, um, just you know the illness you didn't know was coming, all the stuff, you guys, you carry it, trauma. I carry it trauma and we're here to release that um, but so you might see people posting things that light that up for you again and make you feel like Melanie said suddenly I'm back in the emergency and so you can say okay whoa let's walk this back here people let's walk this back so yeah and there is no shame, but you will feel shame, right, Carrie? <laughs> there is no shame in it. It's a moment of learning. I love that. Opening our hearts even deeper. Again, I just want to be really sure, and I'll talk about this on the podcast. I'll keep talking there about these things. I hope you've been enjoying the messaging so far. Um, people are, listen, people are sharing. People in... Um, what do they call it? Influencers are sharing from an energy that is shaming sometimes, though. That's what I'm trying to say today. You know, they have to work. They have stuff they're working through. They need to be able to express themselves and get this out. All of us need to express and get it out. But sometimes you're following that and re reading it and receiving it, and it's going to go in and impact you in those places I've been talking about. Just know that today, okay? I hope that helps to hear. So let me ring the bell. We're going to have to close for today, but not without a little healing. Would somebody type the word now, just so I know? May you be eased today. May you be at peace today. Thank you, Kelly. That is the best. May you feel loved today. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, friends. May you come from love, not fear. You know, I keep this card here every single day. Today belongs to love, not fear. Thanks, you guys. Isn't it good to type now? It helps you, doesn't it? Think about how you could do this in the day. May you be at peace. And I ring this bell for you, for the little boy and the little girl inside you who is afraid today. It's okay. And feel free to send him or her here. I have the healing table all set up today. I'll be doing healings all day today. You can send the energy here. Here we go. This is for you.
That's a huge ass wood chipper there, you guys. Got anything you need chipped up? <laughs> Can you hear it? Wood chipper. Send it to the wood chipper. Send the healing. Send the little kids to me today. Okay? Send your little kiddos here. Love you.